All right. Carlos and I ordered these two beers, and I'm going to try this, this first one. And it smells sweet, like a sugar cookie, like white cake. It smells citrusy, like lemon citrus and pissy. And it tastes really lemony. It's watery, lemony, a little pissy, and a little bit metallic. And I really like it. Like the lemon flavor is really, really nice. Mm. And it's fizzy. Mouthfeel fizzy. Aftertaste. There's not only an aftertaste, and I give it a 3.5. 3 3.5 or 4? 3.5. Okay, I just tried the Green Bergen. It's a beer of the bite. Smells. I think I should the third one. Well, anyway. Well, it smells. Its aroma is it's lemony and malty. That's all I could get. The flavors. It's really metallic for some reason. I don't know why. And it's like vanilla cake Ooh. and lemon. And the mouthfeel is mouth coating and it has like a banana ish aftertaste. It smells, like, it smells like banana. I didn't say this, but the score for the Grim Bergen, what's the name? Grimbergen, yeah. Yeah, Grimbergen. Grimbergen Blonde. Blonde. I give it a 4 or 4.5. I really like it. I give it a 4. <laughs> Alright, so now I have the Grimbergen. And for aromas, I get banana cream pie, caramel apples, um, and the steamed egg cake from Hong Kong. And the flavors are basically that, like I get banana, caramel apples, and there's a maltiness to it, like a molasses, uh, brown sugar. Now feel is crisp, um, but smooth, refreshing. Aftertaste, the aftertaste tastes like the beer. You get a little citrusy, the aftertaste. There's a little like tartness to it, the aftertaste, and I also think it's a really good beer. I'm giving it a four to five. It's really, really, really good. I do prefer Paul Lanner. I think that it's similar to Paul Lanner. No? It's similar to another beer we've tried. Yeah. Beer in the bar. But we, we've had we something like this. Beer. I think we had one like this. Well, I'm sure we have. Um, four to five is really good. Okay, now Carlos will do his on the, what's this called? Bayreuther. Bayreuther. Okay, it's my turn with the Bayreuther. It's a weird German name. I've never heard of something like that. So the aroma I got was warty and almost woody. Kind of smoky. And a little bit malty. Flavors. Let's see. It's malty. It's a hint of lemon. It also has some like slight like smokiness to it, like something that's been on. It's been smoked or something. I don't know. Smoky. It's not a lot. I think it's like the maltiness that I'm confusing with the smokiness. And the aftertaste is nothing. It's like the beer, and the mouthfeel is kind of watery. But I like the beer actually. Even though it's watery and there's not carbonation. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, good. it's, good. it's a good lager. It's between 3.5 and 4 for me. That's what I said. It's, like, it's got to go to the best lagers we've had in a long time. Yeah, because I gave the other one a 4, I want to give this a 3.5.